hello people how are you doing welcome back to my youtube channel letty part i'm your host leticia yes your favorite girl leticia and today today this topic even me myself it choke because we'll be talking about true love yes true love so is it possible as a lagos girl looking for love in lagos is it possible for you to find true love in nine months hmm. this one choco <laughs> so i'm just going to give him my own opinion yes my opinion because there's my channel there so i'll be giving my opinion on whether it's possible to find true love in lagos in nine months but first a lot of people say they believe in love at first sight yes love at first sight is when you just see someone and you just yeah he's the one for me oh she's the one for me yes you're the one for me that is love at first sight i just see this person and i'm like oh, this is the person that i feel like yes i want to spend the rest of my life with yes this is the person that i'm going to i feel like i want to grow old with this is the person that yes I, I believe that i can do anything for this person like i can go any length just to be with this particular individual but is it possible is it possible in this lagos that you will find love true love in nine months what would be my answer true love first let's define love let's define true love true love hmm. a lot of people a lot of people assume they are in love just because someone makes them feel a certain way yeah a lot of people feel like they found true love just because of the way someone makes them feel but trust me that could be infatuation because infatuation is when you're attracted to somebody just because of the way the person makes you feel so a lot of us confuse love for infatuation but i would like to read this definition of true love to you so just stick with me as i read A lot of people assume they're in love after experiencing certain emotions and feelings that bring sweetness to their soul. They struggle with putting a label on their feelings. Emotions like attraction, infatuation, attachment, and even gratitude and appreciation are most often confused for love. There is one more element that is most confused with love, which is lenormance. And it is an involuntary state of intense desire. Having obsessive thoughts about a person then equating how you light up to how you how in love you are with them sums up most of the problems of heartbreak we experience in recent times <laughs> this song just came to my head <laughs> break up now national kick go reach everybody don't touch my guy i did wait for your turn go for it nobody will break anybody's hearts in jesus name amen so back to the gist is it possible for someone to find true love in lagos in nine months mm. to me yo hmm, nothing is impossible actually nothing is impossible but i don't feel like it's possible 
to find true love in the universe in nine months. Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I know that's not the answer you were looking for, but I don't think it's possible to find true love in Lagos in nine months. With the way all these Lagos boys are behaving, huh? I don't think it's possible to find true love in Lagos. Why? Because a lot of people just feel like um, I meet this. Okay, let's say I meet this young guy cute mm, yeah i like him cute um mm, he's financially okay mm -hmm. he's financially stable he's okay he let's say he yeah he works in a very good firm and they pay him well he doesn't stay with his parents he stays he has an apartment so he's paying his own bills yeah that's attractive but then just because of all of that i think in my head oh yes because he has this he has this he has all all my all my tick 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 for what i want in a guy then that means i found true love my dear no you haven't found true love yet that's not that's not that's not that's not it if you found true love will you be able to go the extra length for this particular guy Will you be willing to make sacrifices for this particular guy? Because, like, like I know, like to my knowledge, love is about sacrifices. Like, will I be able to handle this particular individual's baggage, like the baggage that he comes with? But if he has a bad temper, will I be able to look on the brighter side and be like, oh? Um, he has anger issues but it's something that I can cope with something that I can I think we can work on that's why we have a lot of divorces today in Nigeria because they just feel they just see the outer part they don't look inward they just see the outer part and just be like oh yeah everything is perfect yes we are, we are good for each other we are, yeah, this match is made in heaven let's get married and then after getting married they begin to see a lot of flaws that they didn't see before they begin to see a lot of um what they call those things the patches that they, they had never seen coming at the end of the day they break the end they end the marriage because they can't cope with it they can't they can't it's something that they can't take on a normal day so why would I want to kill myself in something that I know I won't take? But in the first place, why did I get into it if I knew I was not going to be able to take it? So it's not possible for you to find love in this lake course. In this lake course in nine months. No dear. It's not possible. You cannot find true love in Lagos in nine months. Because you have to put yourself in you have to put yourself in a place where you know that yes i think i really like this person i think i can i think i can go the extra mile for this person because there are so many girls today okay yes they have they find a guy and then oh this guy is financially stable this guy is he's tall dark handsome he has he speaks very well he oh yes he is somebody that you can do couple goals with and all of that he spends his money very well if he becomes broke now would it be that attractive if he becomes like maybe things go sour a bit will he be that attractive to you will he, will he still remain attractive to you would you still want to be with him if he doesn't have the said money that he had when you met him so we should always think about these things before we get before we even say before you can okay so i'm just going to talk about my for myself because before i even say like i love you to anybody it has to be like i have to i must have thought about it and i'm like yes bro now me and you yes now me and you day here if you do anything on top of your matter 
I feel good the extra mile on top of your matter. Mm. According to the video, um, what's that song? What's that song again? What's that song that he sang for trauma then? Uh, uh, if I leave, you make water carry me the good, that kind of thing. Yes. I can beat my chest and be like, yes. I can do this for you, my love. I can do it. But if I think I'm, I reason I'm, I can, well, why would I want to... Why would I want to go the extra mile for you? That's not true. That's not true, love. Love is deep. Yes, that's what I want us to understand. Love is actually deep. And it's not always about the physical. It's not always about what... It's not always about what this particular person has to offer to you. It goes both ways. Like, what can he give to you? What can you give him in return? Like, what do you have in return to give to him? Like, can you go the extra mile because of him? Are you willing to give him your kidney if he loses his own kidney? That is love. So we should really think about it before we say we are actually in love. And we should stop mistaking infatuation for love. Infatuation is totally different. It's a totally different feeling from love. Yes, totally. They may look alike, but they are similar, but they're not the same. Infatuation is when you see yeah most love at most people that say they fell in love at first sight my guy my girl is infatuation because i don't see how you would just see somebody i don't believe i'm speaking for myself disclaimer i'm speaking for myself i don't believe that you just see one individual we just met today and i'm like yes i'm in love with you mm. okay yes i'm sure i'm in love with you i'm in love with this guy how even when we have conversations, I can just be like, oh yes, I like, oh, I like the way you talk. Mm -hmm. I like your perception on certain topics. Mm -hmm. I like how you think about certain topics. I like, I like, I like your opinions on certain things. I like, that is okay. You can just meet someone and just say, you just feel like, oh yes, I love with this person. Love is like a journey. Yeah, love is a journey, baby. It's a journey and you cannot find love in Lagos in nine months. That's not even possible. It's not possible. Because you're just going to jump into that at the end of the day. You're going to jump out as well. So I I believe that you have to you have to okay, yes, you have to set the mind first. To be like, yeah, yes, I'm ready to settle. Yes, I'm ready to find true love because most people in this lagos today they're not even ready to find true love they're just looking for the bag that's the truth everybody is looking for the bag everybody wants to be rich everybody wants to be famous yes everybody including me i want to be rich i want to be famous so you have to set your mind your mindset yeah i want to find love when love comes you will be able to identify it trust me when love comes, you'll be able to identify, but you cannot stick with the fact that you can. I stick to the fact that you cannot find true love in Lagos in nine months, except you set your mind to wait and be like, okay, yes, I want to find true love. And then you're ready to take whatever baggage that comes with this particular individual. You're ready to take a lot of things because oh, marriage itself is an entire ball ball game because this is some someone that you are meant to spend the rest of your life with someone you are supposed to live with every day of your life you wake up in the morning the person is there before you go to bed the person is still there so it's something you have to think about carefully carefully before going into it yes you have to be ready you have to be ready for whatever comes it's it as well so on this note i stick to the fact that as a lagos babe looking for more love in lagos you cannot find true love in nine months 
but if you think otherwise my darling that is why we have the comment section i will be waiting for you in the comment section to tell me what you think about this video and this topic thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video see you next time bye